What up everybody, Conservative Nerb here. How you guys doing? Uh, today I'm talking about uh, Alexandria, oh crap, Cortez. Okay, you might have seen this chick on the news because she's been on the news like non-stop for like two freaking weeks now. Uh, she's the uh, running for Congress in fucking uh, New York. And, uh, she is crazy as a bed bug, man. She's nuts. Uh, I, 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 she scares the living shit out of me. Uh, here's why she scares the living shit out of me. Her policies make no freaking sense. Uh, she's pretty much communist. They say she's a democratic socialist. But here's my opinion on that. I could put democratic in front of the word shit. It's still gonna be shit. It's not gonna make the shit any better. I'm not going to be like, oh, I can step in that. That's Democratic shit. No, it's still shit. You can put Democratic in front of anything. It's still whatever it is. I mean, she's not talking about voting on this shit. This is her fucking policies. It's not like, oh, I'm, I got some policies I want the people to vote on. That would be Democratic Socialism. Okay, maybe. But this, what she's talking about isn't Democratic Socialism. She's a fucking nut job. She's a communist. And uh, I got a feeling the media media's loves her. And they're going to, I mean, the Tom Perez on the heads of the Democrats, he was, like, just saying how she could be president someday. And she's president. If she ever becomes president, you can kiss America fucking goodbye, dude. I'm telling you right now, man. It ain't going to be America anymore if she's president. Because she's fucking insane. Ah. Uh, yeah, she scares the shit out of me, because they're going to put her all over TV, you know? Oh, like, she's young, she, she's everything Bernie's not. Like, Bernie's an old, crazy-looking, homeless guy. She's a young, pretty, I guess if you can't, don't count her horse teeth, uh, and her fucking crazy eyes. Holy shit, man. Well, she looks like she's fucking insane with her fucking bugged eyes, crazy fucking horse teeth. But yeah, dude, and they're, you know, they're going to just... She's Hispanic, so they love that. They love, yeah, she's not, she's not male, she's not white, everything they love, and they just gotta parade her around like she's the greatest thing they ever lived. And that scares the shit out of me because, okay, here's some of her policies. She wants to abolish prisons. Well, she doesn't really want to abolish prisons. She wants prison reform. She wants to change prisons. She doesn't want, she wants to, anybody that's in there, uh, she wants released, but you, you, it's education, they're going to educate them, so, you can, you know, yeah, she's going to let everybody out, like, there's no criminals, like, oh, I, I can give you a couple classes, and you won't kill anybody, like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense, yeah, you're going to set them down and go, killing is bad, like, no one's ever told them that, like, they never came across that in their head, that maybe murdering people is bad, yeah, that's going to change things, no, because here's, they don't want to get rid of prisons because they got have them for their hate speech laws, you know? What they want to do is they want to take all those people, all the crazies out of prison and lock up anybody that's just sane and just says, maybe might have said something, or probably didn't even say something. Because here's a problem with hate speech laws, and here, here's why I fear fucking hate speech laws. Who defines what hate speech is, Okay. And what if you, what, what if somebody says I said the N-word, and I didn't, okay? And they said I said it. Uh, who's gonna, you know, I'm going to, I could go to prison, alright? Because you got hate speech laws. Someone said I said something that I didn't say. But, you know, you've already made racism the worst thing you could possibly be. I mean, there was just a poll for college kids, and they think that pedophilia is fine compared to racism like racism is worse than pedophilia because you're born a pedophile they think but <laughs> you're a racism you know it's just because you're evil yeah so yeah i mean if i'm called a racist i'm already on i mean i'm already convicted there's gonna be no fair fucking trial what am i gonna go with the same people that judge twitter or facebook and <laughs> ban stuff I mean, fuck, they, 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 uh, the Declaration of Independence was flagged as hate speech by Facebook. So, wow, hate, that's hate speech? The Declaration of Independence? Yeah, that's scary shit, man. Like, that's scary shit. 
they don't believe in military and they want to ban guns. Like, the, okay, the first person that tries to ban guns in this country is gonna have a bloodbath on their hands. This country's gonna be drenched in fucking blood. I mean, there's people that aren't gonna give up their guns without a fight. So, you're gonna have to kill a lot of people to take guns away. Yeah, I mean, what she's talking about is a bloody coop. And the media's railing her like she's the greatest thing ever. And we see these dumb kids who support her. And I'll tell you what, here, do never, never go to her, her Twitter page and just ask how she thinks she's going to pay for this stuff. Because you will be attacked by so many dumb asses. Like, childish. They're childish people. They're so annoying and childish. I had to block one of them. Yeah, they're saying you're telling me that prisons are... Uh, when we close down all the prisons, like all the prisons, uh, we'll have so much money. And then the military, when we stop funding the military, okay, we don't have a military and we don't have prisons. Well, that sounds hellish. So I was like, if you close all the military, and then they want to ban guns too. So you take away all the guns, take away the military, take away the police, and let everybody out of prison. It's going to be rape city. That's what I told him. I was like, well, you just, that's rape city. And uh, I was told I was a rapist, and then the fucker just followed me anywhere on Twitter just screaming I was a rapist, so I'm talking to somebody. I had to block them. I mean, these people are childish psychos. These are nut jobs. You know, you, you give them a point and they just name call. They don't understand anything. They're retards. They're childish morons who think that everything should be free. They really think that if you, that people are good, <laughs> basically good, and you just let them all out of prison, that they're all good people in there. It's just the white people that are bad. They're keeping them down. That's really what these fucktards believe. So that's why I'm like, they want to fill the white, the prisons up with whites. These are radicals. These people that support this Alexandria crap Cortez, they're ra radicals. They're insane radicals. They're insane socialists. And the media's acting like she's the greatest thing in the world. Meanwhile, our actual president is treated like a piece of shit. But this fucking nut job fucking... And Tifa fucking candidate is the greatest thing to ever lived. You know, the, Trump's right. The, the media is the greatest enemy to this country. The, the media is the, the greatest enemy that this country has ever had. At this point in time, at this point in time, there is not a greater enemy to this country than the media. I mean, they are actually condoning for... Communist dictatorships. Because there's no way she could run on this shit and not get any of it. I mean, nothing, like, just, everything in this is against the Constitution. So in order to actually enact any of this shit, you'd have to throw the Constitution out. <coughs> that scares the living shit out of me. I mean, and another thing I don't understand is, you know, I know the Democrats just released their statement on how to, to win back all their houses and take the presidency and all this shit. And they want to flood the country with more illegals because they vote, you know, Democrat. Which is weird to me because it's like, you flee a socialist dictatorship to come to America because you know America's the greatest country in the world. I mean, you could say, oh, well, they, you know, they don't have anywhere else to go, which is always what they say, because they hate this country. Everybody hates this fucking country now, because they're pieces of shit. But, you know, just because you're a loser doesn't, you know, it isn't the country's fault you're a fucking loser. It's your fault. You blame everybody else. Just, you know, life is life, man. There's good and there's bad. Be happy with the good and, you know, try to change the bad. But blaming the country doesn't do anything. But anyways... These fucking idiots. They come from a third world fucking socialist dictatorship. And what do they fucking do when they get here? Vote third world fucking socialist dictatorship. Yeah, geniuses. Oh, that's how fucking Alexandria old crap Cortez won. She won because her Bronx region is filled with illegal immigrants who vote third world socialist dictatorships. And that's how she's gonna think she's gonna win the White House by... <coughs> Busting in a lot of third world socialist, you know, shithole livers in here so they can go, oh, well, I'm not comfortable with this. I need to change this to where I came from. Why'd you leave? Yeah, doesn't make any sense to me. You know, doesn't make any sense. Meanwhile, they fucking are working on the fucking 
Black Plague returning in fucking California with all the fucking shit on the sidewalk. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm good. I'm good on fucking busting enough people to where you just got them shitting on your sidewalks, you know. Uh, I'm good there. Man, I just want to talk about this because this woman scares the shit out of me, man. Because I see her, man. She's on the talk shows. She's fucking, you know, all over the place. You know, they're all rallying around her. Every fucking channel on TV. She was on the fucking view. She's on the view. And here's what she told the view. She said that I don't know why people get so upset about socialism. It's just basically free stuff. Like, that's a fucking kindergartner's explanation of something. It's not free stuff. Nothing's fucking free. People have to pay for that shit. Like, that's fucking, you know, that's money. It's not free. Nothing's free. Your free housing, like, everybody gets free housing is a right? No, it's not a right. You give that to somebody and they, they didn't earn it, they're going to tear it up. And then you can't resell it or give it to somebody else. Oh, guess what? You know, they had 27 dogs in there and they shit all over the place. Oh, yeah, there were 45 people living in a house, and there's shit, and they tore the walls all up, and there's no windows. Yeah, you know, I mean, giving people shit, they're not going to take care of it if they don't have to pay for it or work for it or earn it. You know, you give somebody a house, and they're going to shit all over it if, if it's free. So, yeah, I, I'm 100% opposed to Alexandria O'Crap oh, Cortez. I think she's a fucking hack and an idiot. And, uh, I think she's a scumbag. I think, and everybody acts like she's got these great intentions, like she's trying to help the world because she's offering free shit. You know, that ain't her fucking money she's offering. She was a fucking bartender, so you don't have any fucking money. So, it's fucking my, you know, tax dollars. It's my fucking tax dollars. Your tax dollars. Everybody's tax dollars. She thinks she can just take and just hand out? You know, fuck you. You don't get to hand my shit out for free. No. Like, she's good intentions. A Nigerian princes, uh, you know, on the internet offer you free money a lot. But you think they got good intentions? Fuck no, because you're not getting that money. Same with her. Dude, there's no good intentions there. She's a fucking evil bitch. So, yeah, she's looking for power. And, yeah, you think she's going to suffer when she's our socialist dictator? Hell no, she's not going to suffer. The only people that are going to be suffering is everybody else that isn't in her little group. We're all going to be suffering. Because guess what? Under a socialist dictatorship, there is no middle class. There is no, you know, comfortable living. It's everybody's fucking poor and we're all fucking equally poor and shitty. So, fuck that. And fuck her. And if you actually think she's got good ideas, then maybe you need to reevaluate that shit. Because I tell you what, man, I don't see anything she says that makes possible sense. It's all anti-American. It's all anti-Constitution. It's all anti-everything that we believe in. And I'm 100% against her, and she scares the living shit out of me. And the media are proponents in this communist invasion... Between them and the colleges, I think, you know, they're both equally adapt at invading us with communism with their non-stop pushing the message that we need this shit because we definitely don't. So, yeah, anyways, that's my video for today. Just a little political rant because I, I tell you what, I'm scared shitless of this Alexandria, oh crap, Cortez. And uh, I hope uh, something happens and she doesn't make it into power because she scares the living shit out of me. Anyways, that's it for me today, guys. You guys have a great day. I know this had nothing to do with entertainment or nerdiness. It's just me bitching about a socialist piece of shit, but I don't want to see this in my country. So anyways, you guys have a great day, and enjoy the comics, enjoy the movies, enjoy anything you want to enjoy, because it's a free country. Take it easy, guys.